Hey guys, this is video 3 in the Halo Brute Weapon series of builds out of 9 weapons total. This is the Brute Firebomb. So, incendiary grenade, this is my basic pattern, I only did one side, so mirror it. Um, I got olive jars for the glass tube, and that's going to fit up inside there. Basically, I'm just making caps, steel caps, that go over this, and then I'm going to caulk it on the inside. Um, that way you can then uh, take the glass tube out, uh, you know, take the sealant out, uh, take the glass tube out, and put a new one in to reuse the caps after you throw it and break this one. I think I'm just going to fill it with white gas that's tinted orange, um, because the liquid inside is supposed to be orange, I want as close as I can. And then I have another one, one for the test, and then I have another one that I'm going to put in after the test that I'm going to use for my own display piece. And I'll just put a orange uh, clear paper or plastic contact paper or something like that on the inside to tint it without actually having white gas inside of it. So these are flanges, there's eight, to, eight of those, some blades. Aside from that, it's pretty simple. This is going to be kind of a weird shape kind of a cone like the spike grenade uh, so that'll take me a little little bit of time I'm gonna use the same techniques that I used on the last build with with cones to make and then this rounded cap at the other end I'll probably just have to dish something or I could do something similar to making a cone it just won't be quite as rounded as it's supposed to be uh, these are supposed to be pretty thick 3 8 as it says these are really thin little blades, and I'm not going to use that hardened steel because these ones are not supposed to fragment. This is supposed to actually be on there. I'm pretty sure that's actually the trigger points in the game. It hits and then explodes then when it hits a trigger. Um, it doesn't make sense in real life, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, and in order to actually throw this, I think we're just going to light the outside of it on fire because in the game when you throw it, it automatically is on fire as soon as you let it go. So that way it would give it that nice fireball streak and then that will light it. Basically it's a Molotov cocktail. So just a fancy one with metal and spikes, which makes it better. So I'm going to make those caps. It should be a quick build, but we will see how it goes. So I did less calculations with this than I really should have. Um, I really, I could have made those meet in the middle and everything, but I was just kind of hurrying and cutting them out in big chunks because it's such a thick material, which by the way, I didn't want to make it that thick, but that's the only thing I could find that fit the jar very well. Uh, and so now really, I just have to smooth this off and fill it in. So I'm just taking plugs. I'm going to weld them in, weld them from the backside and then smooth it off completely. And that's how I'm going to make the dome. Really, it doesn't matter how you get the shape made, it just matters that you make it one way or another. Some ways are faster than others, this is the slower way. But I was trying to rush and now I'm paying the price for it.
So I need the top of it to thread on. So I'm gonna weld this piece in at the top and then that will thread in. That way I can open it up, pour more white gas in once I have the glass in there and uh, just refill it that way. So the last thing to fabricate for this out of steel are eight of these flanges. They'll go around the top and they are cut out of five eighths or sorry not five eighths plate, uh, three eighths plate. So they're pretty thick and I'm going to use the plasma cutter for that. I'm probably going to be able to cut two at a time and stack them. how that turned out and that looks like either a really brutal mace head or a bomb just by itself just slap those two together and you've got a bomb right there actually that looks kind of awesome but alas it's not to be now I need to figure out a way to put the glass tube in it all right so to make this glass tube fit nice and snug you can see there's some wiggle room quite a bit of wiggle room Make it fit nice and snug and make sure that it doesn't crack or break before we actually throw it. Um, I'm going to wrap the ends with electrical tape. That way it'll snug it up and it'll somewhat cushion it. But I need to mark it first so that I know where to wrap up to. That barely marked it at all. Well, that didn't do a lot of good. So I'll just start wrapping. I think that's about where the mark was supposed to be. It doesn't have to be exact. It's going to be hidden anyway, and then it's going to be broken and on fire. All right, see how that fits. That 
that will probably do it. I just have to press down this crease. And then I'm going to use that silicone like I used in the combat knife build. If you haven't watched that video, go and do it now. I'll have a link somewhere floating around in a box. And uh, that is the first official brute weapons build. That was from three weeks ago. That is awesome. I believe I may have cross-threaded it. How exciting. Otherwise, it would be coming off. Well then, that's a problem. Problem solved. You should recognize this stuff from the combat knife build. Putting way more than I really need, just that it fills in the cracks and make sure it doesn't come out. Well, now to let it sit for a couple days. And hopefully it hardens up okay. And then we will fill it with white gas and go light someone on fire. Something on fire, of course. All right, so we are testing the brute firebomb. As you can see, we have a victim out here. Computers have been the brunt of some of my tests before. Um, if you'll go and watch Azog's Mace, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, so basically we filled the thing with white gas, put a cork on it, we're going to light it on fire. On the outside, I'm going to wear thicker, thicker than this, welding gloves, and uh, hope that we don't all die. So, let's do this. <laughs> we got this. Okay, so uh, it put it out before it even hit the computer. Um, so that was a minor issue. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it, it, it sort of would work, except that it needs something to sustain the fire. Otherwise, it'll just put it out when you throw it. And um, yeah. So that was kind of a failure. But, you know, we got to burn something anyway, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, so next video is going to be the Brute Mauler. That's the little shotgun pistol thingy. And we are going to actually make that firing. Hopefully it works better than this. And, uh, yeah, that was really disappointing. But anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you next week. Mom, what's that smell? That's the environment dying here. <laughs> Computer. <laughs>